Hello guys, welcome to Avari Technologies. Subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon. Today let's see the chapter 3. Come on, let's start. Today I'll show you the lesson number 3. Go around the forest. After studying this lesson, let's know about the trees that are near the house and in the forest and also know about the forest fruits available in the forest and developing the attitude of not feeling the trees as they are ours realize the necessity of growing trees let's see this small story sita lives with her family on the outskirts of forest besides her family there are many other families too Sita loves the forest and the trees in the forest. Now she will introduce the forest where she lives. Listen to her. Come, I will introduce my forest. See here are teak, sandalwood, marty and honey trees. They are surrounded by creepers with fragrant flowers. Like this, you can see here fragrant flowers and trees. Like that, there are so many types of trees. What Sita told us. Now, look at the monkeys swinging. You can see here the monkeys are swinging and snakes crawling on the trees. Like this. Look at the herds of elephants. You can see here elephants and deer. Here there are some deer. Trees provide shade for all. Like example, whenever you are in a work, that time you go outside. Then if the weather is too sunny, you will go stand near a tree then you can get little relax because you are standing in the shade of the tree so you can get relax you can see here oh sweet fruits have you ever tasted these sweet fruits like mango and jackfruit i have also eaten these two fruits can also try it you can see here the types of fruits which we get from tree come taste these fruits if you have this at your home you can taste it and tell me how it is how big and beautiful is my forest this is my sweet home draw a circle around the fruits you have eaten in the picture given above which all you have eaten you can tell me in comment make a list of fruits which are available or grown in your locality whatever it is grown you can tell me here they have given space you can tell me in comment do you know that Trees in the forest provide us with some many things. Look at the picture and know this. Write the names of the things given in the picture under them. Whatever you can do, it's telling us. From trees, you can get wood, you can get paper, like this one, and our door. Like that, we get flowers. Like that, there are so many. In your previous class, you have learnt about the trees. Name 10 trees that grow in your place. Do these trees grow in the forest also? No, from your elders. Which all trees I have seen? I'll tell you. I have seen banyan trees and mango tree coconut tree 
jack fruit tree still have so many trees i don't want to make this video very lengthy so i'm just telling till here now make a list of five trees that grow in your place and in the forest what all you see you can tell me now observe the trees in the picture write two uses of each tree in the space given take help of elders teak wood tree we can make teak wood furnitures sandalwood also jambu tree banyan tree like that there are so many ponigama neem tree is a very good good tree it is used for many medicinal qualities gooseberry also and bamboo are also used in so many types you already know the things obtained from the forest what will happen if the forest is destroyed think and answer if forest destroyed we'll never get oxygen because trees give oxygen to us so trees are very important and we should not cut the trees if we cut the trees in a future if there is no trees we will no having oxygen because of when the, whenever we breathe in oxygen we will take it and we will leave carbon dioxide this carbon dioxide product the all the trees leaves will take it and it will change it into oxygen then it will give so you can also plant trees near your home now do you know this in the previous class you have learned about apico movement do you know the reason of the movement the western ghat region of our state the destruction of forest has increased due paper industry plywood industry hydroelectric plant and construction of dams etc has a result of the forest that existed for many generations were destroyed this affected the life of the people injured by this people embarrassed the trees whenever some came to cut down the trees and prevented dis the destruction of the forest their desire for conserving the forest was successful the forest department accepted their demand for growing more trees and plants cutting down trees and use of forest products were prohibited the slogan of apico movement was save forest grow forest use forest like that they have told answer the following questions in brief what is a forest a forest is a big place where you get so many things like medicinal things like neem and you get trees like for making woods now write the name of five plants that grow generally in forests in forest some plants means like grass will grow so normally so, uh, some other plants will also grow but i only know grass that it grows write the name of five animals live in forests any five animals means i will tell in rhinoceros lion tiger elephants deer name five fruits that are available in forests mango jackfruit apple banana pineapple right five uses of forests forests are very useful we in forests or it helps for giving us oxygen how much trees and plants are there that much oxygen level will be there practice to grow and pro and protect plants mango coconut etc near your house school and your locality means wherever you get some place you can grow there you should do it yourself
let's see this activity first decide where the plant saplings and how many saplings are to be planted whether to plant a sapling that gives fruits or flowers or shade then get saplings from the nursery of the forest department or neighbors who have grown such saplings otherwise with the help of your friends sow the seeds in the school backyard or near your house and allow them to grow dig a pit so that the roots are conver- converted and fill half of the pit with soil pull out the sapling which is soaked with water from the ground or the plastic bag without damaging the roots place the sapling in the pit and fill the pit with soil press the soil with your hands near the stem so that the sapling should stand straight and firm make a bed around the sapling later pour some water put a small tree gall around it so that it is not eaten by goats and other animals water the plant regularly take the help of your family members and friends in growing the trees now let's sing and enjoy this two songs trees add beauty to nature lot of generi and fruits they give air water food and energy this is what we get from trees trees are nature born to us no land without forests no land without trees no fauna fauna with fodder no life with these write the names of trees sap or saplings that are planted in the yard of your house or school near my house i have a tulsi tree tulsi plant and i have a jasmine and i have a spring onion plant because i like spring onion so i grow it collect the pictures of trees from the newspapers books magazines paste them in your used notebook then collect and write the information about these trees you should write the, the name of the tree and usefulness of the tree like see this picture write the slogans about con- conservation of forests more than half of the plants and animals that live on the earth depend upon forests of their survival the rate of destruction of forests is increasing through through we, through we live in towns we depend on forests for food cloth fuel medicines building materials etc it would be better if one third of area were forests many medicines are manufactured from forest plants like neem i told you right slogans about conservation of forests do you know this a bamboo belongs to grass family some plants grow from the leaves for example broccoli and gin like this the picture given the seeds of mangrove plant which grow in coastal region germinate or in on the plant itself later on the seeds fall on the ground and grow plants such as pitcher plant dosera and colorbelly eat insects 
they are called insect eating insectivorous plants this picture plant calavati dosera they look beautiful when any small insect come near it eat it the seed of kuku dm dum dm air is the largest seed in the world it weight is nearly 18 kg karnataka has five national parks five bird sanctuaries and 16 wildlife sanctuaries so like and subscribe my channel for more videos if this is your first video see my last one, first one and second chapter like and subscribe our channel for more videos bye guys these pages are from karnataka textbook society bangalore you can also take it by just clicking karnataka textbook download if you want notes you can take here just go in google and tell that karnataka textbook download and you'll get like karnataka textbook society like this one click it upon that that you can get notes bye guys so like and subscribe my channel